Hey, is it possible this shop owner in Mexico has a pinata doll that's haunted? Or is it just some kind of old video magic? I've got the answer to that spooky mystery, plus answers on a couple other things that you guys are curious about. Like this picture that claims to show real red bananas, and this video that wants us to believe this guy can jump across a whole street. I've got all that, plus some new fan art, my favorite fake of the week, and a whole lot more. So grab your friends, grab your family, and have a bonding experience finding out who's best at sorting out fact from fiction. Hey guys, Bill here. You know what a pinata doll is, right? It's usually something made out of paper mache and filled up with fun treats like candies and stuff like that. Then people at a party or a celebration put on masks and try to break it open. The tradition is practiced all over the world, but one place that's really big is in Mexico. And that brings me to this video. It was sent in by Herky Jerky and shows this. The video claims the door to the bathroom is being moved by this haunted pinata doll on the inside against the wall. Herky Jerky wrote, is this video for real or is this just a hoax? Herky, you know, a video like this would be declared like automatically a big fat fake because, I mean, let's face it, everybody knows the way you do that is you just put somebody behind the door and then you make them go like this, you know, to make it all spooky and everything. But here's the catch with this video. The camera actually goes into the room and shows us behind the door and there's nobody there. So let's take a closer look and see what we can find out. As it turns out, this video is only one of many videos made by a man named Mario Lara. They all center on what Mario claims is a haunted pinata doll that was for sale in his store where he sells lots of pinatas. He calls it Moana and claims paranormal things started happening as soon as he brought this thing into his shop. Not only did the pinata start moving around the shop, but he documented it was leaving strands of black hair everywhere. And then there are videos showing other pinatas in the store moving by themselves, workers suddenly being dragged by the leg, moving television sets, and unplugged drills coming to life. Mario ends up trying to cleanse the doll from evil spirits. He even takes it out to the countryside and ditches it, but nothing seems to stop the paranormal activities in his store. Hmm, you know, this whole thing smells kind of fishy to me. I mean, all of Mario's videos and this whole story about this pinata doll being haunted, well, it's gonna be really hard to prove it's fake, even though we kind of know it's fake, you know? It's point is, how do you prove it? Well, without a confession from Mario Lara himself, we're gonna have to fall back on technical analysis. So I'll tell you what, why don't we do the old house of cards technique here? The house of card technique works like this. If we can prove this one video is fake, then uh, we think it's safe to say that all the other videos are probably fake as well. Cooked up by Mr. Laura to have some fun and get noticed. Hey, mandale, voy a mandar este video porque estoy dándome cuenta que... Taking a closer look at the video, uh, I mean, when the video starts out, we don't know why the camera is pointed at this door, but once the door starts banging, the cameraman stays right in focus. He then moves in closer. We see the pinata standing by the wall, and then the camera moving to look behind the door.
All right, guys, I think it's time for you know what. I think it's time for you to make up your minds and let the world know what you think. If you think this video shows unexplained movement of the door and was not a trick of some kind, go with real. On the other hand, if you think we're being tricked somehow, go with fake. And as usual, if you think I don't have a solid answer, well, then you just go with unknown. All right, did you get the job done? Good, because uh, you know what? I think I, I think I smell a uh, solid smoking gun answer in here. So let's see what we got. Real paranormal activity or just another big fat fake orema? <laughs> let's see what we got here. I mean, I hope it's fake because if it turns out to be real, uh, I think that's the last time I'll be wearing a mask and swinging at a pinata. In fact, if I even hear there's a pinata at a party, uh, I think I'm gonna have to stay home and do some homework. <laughs> anyway, let's see what we got here. Oh boy. Are you ready for this? Okay. <sighs> you sitting down? All right, because, believe it or not, the official answer is... Fake. On the surface, this video looks like it is one continuous shot, but when you look very close, you can see it has an edit in it. It happens right here. Do you see it? Here is shot one. Okay, we're going along and now, boop. See the edit right there? So in other words, what, what's happening is, you know, you're, it's probably shot with a phone, so I'm holding it like a phone, right? And you record, right? Then while you're recording, the person behind the door makes the door go like this, right? Then you hit the stop button on your camera, your phone, right? And then you say, hey, come out from behind the door, but don't move the door at all, okay? Then the person comes out, they go around, they go get off camera, right? And then you hit record again. Then you can walk in there and you can look behind the door and there's nobody there. But the thing that gives it away is that little edit because you were just holding the camera and it kind of drifted while it was stopped. So when it starts again, there's that little bump. Let's watch that one more time. Watch, going, 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 bump. And then that's the new shot after the person is gone from behind the door. Simple, right? I like the idea of a haunted pinata and all the fun Mario Lara has with it, but in the end of the day, that's all it is. It's just fun and nothing anyone should ever be scared of. In the end, I think the moral of this story is whenever you come to something, you know, recorded as real paranormal activity, well, what do you do? You look at the video very closely because 100% of these things I've examined have always turned out to be fake and they always make little teeny mistakes you can find if you look close. I'm Chiquita Banana and I've come to say banana. Hey, everybody loves bananas, right? Those yellow things that people love to eat. They are one of the most popular fruits in the world. Uh, back in the 60s and 70s, they even used to make all these like crazy commercials about them. Any way you want to eat them, it's impossible to beat them. But is it possible bananas also come in different colors, like red, as this picture suggests? The picture was sent in by Arnar Elvarsson, who just wrote, I found this picture and I want to know if it's real or fake. Arnar, I'll be honest with you, I have never seen anything other than yellow bananas, you know, unless they're rotten and they're kind of black. So, uh, but in terms of a red banana, never seen it. But then again, on the other hand, never say never, right? Guys, take another good look and then let the world know what you think. Are these red bananas real, fake, or unknown? All right, let's see what we got here. A new shocking red version of bananas or just another prank by some banana pranksters know how to change yellow bananas to red bananas in Photoshop. Uh, and for you adventurous types who might like to try something other than a yellow banana, perhaps a red one, I have news for you. You might just be happy 
with this answer? Because the answer is real. That's right. Red bananas are a subgroup of bananas from Southeast Asia, and they do indeed have red skin. According to many sources, they're soft and have a sweet flavor when ripe. Some people say they taste like a regular banana, but with a hint of raspberry sweetness too. Wow, that sounds good. I wonder if they sell them on Amazon. Our last submission today is a video that shows a guy, well, watch this. The video was sent in by Crisp the Potato, who just wrote, Hey Bill, just wondering if this video is for real. Chris, you know, the things people are doing these days, you know, physically and athletically are so amazing. Well, we better be careful with this one. Guys, let's take one more look at this thing and then you let me know what you think. Real, fake, or unknown. All right, did you go with fake? Good, because we're gonna get this out. Find out whether you got it right or you got it wrong. See, fake seems like the easy call here, right? But then again, you know, you gotta be careful with the easy ones because it's the easy calls that always mess you up because it just happens sometimes that it, it might not be fake when you think it's so easy to tell it's fake. And in this particular case, guess what? It is fake. Yeah, this is pretty obvious, but it's pretty clever how it's done too. Whenever you see a camera locked down like this, in other words, it's not handheld, it's not moving around at all, uh, you know something's up because what they're doing, well, let me just say, in this case, what you do is get some blocks uh, the guy can use to hop over the street. I'm gonna just put some graphic images here to represent the blocks. And if you could see him come across with the blocks in the shot, it would look more or less like this. But then, with the magic of some fancy video software, you replace the shot with the blocks for a shot without the blocks. Then you isolate your athlete and voila, one of the most stupendous acts of athletic prowess known to man. Love it. All right, well, I guess it's that time. Don't click away because you're gonna miss my favorite fake of the week if you do. We're gonna get to that in just a second, but first, we're gonna take a look at some all new, bring a smile to your face. Fan art. First up is this accomplished piece from Inactive Horse 97. Inactive Horse explains this artwork as Bill now working as a sniper, trying to take down any fake information being spread by shady people. Bill hits them with so fake it's funny darts. Wow, very imaginative. Thanks. Speaking of imagination, how about this Bill as a ballerina from Peter Anguilla or Anguilla, I'm not sure. According to Peter, it shows ballerina Bill with some other legendary figures. Okay, well, uh, thanks, Peter. I think I'll keep working on those real or fake pirouettes for you, all right? Here we have a real or fake show banner from Luca Bird, a Mothman card from Jerry the Cartoon Dog, and Bill versus Widemouth from Diamond Knight. Leo Plays came up with this colorful Bill as BFF Destroyer, blasting fire at Siren Ed and smoking gun stuff at Cartoon Cat. Love it, thank you. How about this Bill boxing match with Siren Ed and Cartoon Cat from artist Joshua Torres. Siren Ed says, I'm going to beat you, Bill. And Bill replies, bring it on, Siren Ed. Cartoon Cat has a big smile on his face as Bill says, let's get ready to rumble. Nice one, Joshua. Very creative. And hey, don't forget, we have a new show every Friday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you get a shot at being first official comment and win the pin. And now for my favorite fake of the week. The video claims to show the biggest cockroach in the world. 
Yes, indeed, that cockroach does look gigantic, but in reality, guess what? We're looking at a regular roach inside a miniaturized kitchen inside of a dollhouse. And that is what makes this video so, so fake. fake. It's, it's funny. funny. Hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more real or fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and click on one.